Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Kilo November 4, Yankee Bravo Alpha. It's Randy. I'm doing a first of many uh, in a series for Flex Radio. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm sold on Flex Radio. Um, when I uh, started with my ham, I purchased an FT991A. I love that radio. Uh, it was a good radio, um, but I learned to use it using Ham Radio Deluxe. I love the interface, um, and I love working on computers. I'm not so much a turn a dial, hit a button uh, on a radio, but more so I'm into the software side of the world. So I used that for a while. Um, I started having problems with FT991. My USB went out, motherboard's bad. It was under warranty. I had to send it to California. Well, when I did that, I sat there, well, what do I really want now? I've, I've had a radio for a couple years, learned a little bit about what I want. What I really like is software, software type radios, software defined radios. So I did a lot of research on that. And there's a few out there, but what kept sticking in my mind is Flex. So I did some research and looked at Flex. So I went to the Flex website and I was like, okay, what do you got, Flex? And one of the products, and essentially they have, you know, anywhere from a Flex 6400 all the way up to 6700. Well, these give you more slices, little more slices if you want. But what did I need? Really, I only needed a 6400. Now, did I want one with the, the dials like the 6400M? No, I wanted to use it via computer. I didn't want to have to turn a dial. So I went ahead and purchased the uh, 6400. Um, you know, it took about three, four weeks for them to deliver it, but it was a good radio. I came in, they communicated well. I think Mike is the one, he worked with me on this. Well, when I was ordering, I was like, okay, when I do want to remote operate, what is the best tool to use to re remote operate? Well, hey, I thought, well, you know what? They, they manufacture and sell what they call the Maestro. This is an old timer, you know, this has got the dials that people are accustomed to, got a nice clean screen that you could use. Uh, you hook it up wirelessly if you like on your internet, um, take it places and just like you're on the radio. So I ordered that as well. Um, anyway, so my Flex 6400 came in and I absolutely loved it. Um, it really was easy to integrate into my system. Now I, I've got you know boom, a mic mic mixers. I've got audio mixers. I mix all my audio into the same system and output it on the same set of speakers. Well, this was this was a piece of cake. The interface. Um, so the first thing I got to do is I got to go out and hey, I'm going to go to the condo down in Orange Beach, Alabama. It's about six hours here. Let me try it remotely. This is what I bought it for. So I went down to Orange Beach, wife and I, and I set up on the balcony of my laptop. I got the internet hooked up. Well, you know, I connected to my flex. You know what I saw when I got, on, got there? And I was just so surprised. I saw the same thing I see at home. Same screen, same options, same buttons. It was fully functional. And it worked well. My first um, contact down at Orange Beach, sitting on the balcony, was at 20 meters. And I was so surprised. And there, the, the response that got back, hey, your signal's coming in great. Oh, you're remote, but you're, you're so you're remote. Your system's in Huntsville. I go, yeah. And uh, he goes, you know, this is really sounding great. Uh, but you got a lot of noise in your in your background, and and so could you just key it and and let me see if I can figure out the noise out. So I keyed it, and I sat there thinking, oh wait a minute, I can hear the water hitting the shoreline, and sure enough, that's what it was. I was wearing a pair of Bose Bluetooth headsets. You know, the mic is out there, and you can pick up all the environmental sounds, and they were hearing the water hitting the shoreline. So I was like, hey, now this is cool. I got to get a different headset with a boom mic on it, but this is cool. And I thought about it overnight, and I was like, trying to weigh the difference between uh, the Flex uh, Maestro or the um, or a laptop. You know, the what, which one do I really want? Now, this keep in mind, this thing is huge. It's you know, it's it's big, and it's cool, right? It's big. It's got good dials, real tight, strong. It feels you know good. It's a solid built unit, but I'm a computer guy. I'm not so much a dial guy. 
And I started weighing the facts of what do I want to do? I mean, it works well on my laptop. Do I want to go ahead with my order of the Maestro? Or do I want to look at maybe a, a, even a new laptop option? And I did it. I looked at the Dell, um, Dell laptop. Um, I got the 7,200. Now, what's cool about this Dell is it is a... Um, it's a tablet also, and it's touch screen. So, hey, wait a minute, I got touch screen now, which I don't even have at home. Um, I got a tablet, I got a computer. Uh, it's well, you know, set up. It's got, uh, um, it's an Intel 11 generation Core i7, 16 gigabytes. It's got terabyte of uh, uh, solid state drive, 15.6 inch screen, high resolution graphics. I did it. I um, canceled my Maestro and I went with the Dell. What the Dell gives me is all the functionality that I needed for my uh, Flex 6400 remotely. Plus, I can Google, I can watch videos, I can do anything else I want. Check my email. So, I went with the Dell. So, and I'm not regretting it. Um, so anyways, here's a, here's a kind of a screen of my uh, 6400. Now keep in mind, uh, my I live in a HOA, very very restrictive, no antennas outside. So I built uh, a lot of different antennas. So I came up with the inverted V horse fence. I use the uh, uh, 14 strands of aluminum core. Started off with stainless steel. You know, figured out 80 meters. I had eight ohms of resistance from one end to the other. So I. Changed it out, went to uh, aluminum, which came down to 0 0.08, which I was very happy about. Anyways, it performs well. Now, the flex is so easy. I never really needed any help with this. Yeah, I had a question. I think the first thing I had was, uh, truthfully, was this button here. Uh, when it first loaded up, I couldn't get sound. I didn't know what the heck was going on. I tried, looked at everything. Something's going on. Something's wrong. Hey, it's a real quick, simple search on the Flex uh, form. Bam, push, you know, ener ener energize this PC audio button. Then you got oil. That was my first thing, and it took me, you know, five minutes to figure that out. Um, everything else was a piece of cake. Um, with my uh, ham shack, I've got, you know, a, a 160 meters, an 80 meters, a 40 meters, a 20 meter, um, 17 meters. And a 10 meter uh, inverted V in my attic, believe it or not. I got all these antennas. I got a Amtron um, RC10, I think it is, antenna switch relay I use up, up in the attic. But in my ham shack, I, I got redhead of their, their control head, uh, which was good. But I, I designed one myself, building a solid state circuit that they use, and I interface it with uh, USB. Now, how I do that is, I uh, first off is I gotta get my antenna set up. So the Flex has a USB port on it, and I set it up to tell it, hey, based on the band, this is the antenna it goes to. So 160 meters, it knows it goes to uh, relay zero. You know, 80 meters goes to relay one. 40 meters goes to relay two. So on and so forth. And now, whenever I change the band. It knows exactly which antenna to go to. Let's go to 40. So, it's pretty cool. Um, it has all the flexibility. It's just real, really simple. I use a mouse. I love using a mouse. Hey, on my tablet, I can use my hand. But, you know, truthfully, I like the mouse. You have a control over the mouse. Um, got all easy access to all the bands. Um... Um, you, there's a lot of settings up. You know, if you got a couple antennas, you can select which antenna you're on. You've got two ports on the back of the radio. Uh, display has a lot of controls on that. You can change the, the grainage of this of the waterfall if you like. Um, it just works great. Um, moving down here, it's got a, a audio mixer in it, which is really cool. It makes a big difference. Um, right now, I got on this receive, turn it off. It really cleans it up and sounds great. Um, you can also has a transmit equalizer as well. So that's pretty cool. I really didn't have that on anything. 
um, you know, here I can control the stepping, the rotation to the mouse. I've got it's 500. 500 seems to work best. They're either on a, on a frequency or off by 500. Um, sometimes they're 100. You got to change the stepping down to 100, but that's a piece of cake. Um, it's got the, uh, of course, the, here's what was important to me. Let's go to somewhere here. Here's your power. You can, you can adjust your power. You can take it down to zero watts. Take it slowly. Drink it up to one, 100 watts. Tuning. Now, I leave it at 10 watts. I have the MFJ uh, 939 that I have interface with the Flex. There's The only cable going to the MFJ is the RF cable. Um, but to tune it, all you got to do is press the tune button. Bam. It's done. Now, one thing I've added additional mod, and, and everything I do on the Flex, I power it up uh, remotely with my web switches of my phone. I do that if I'm in a ham shack or away. But one thing I added was a fine tune button. If I get it and it SWR is at 1.5, but I know I can get it lower, I've added a modification to the MFJ to fine tune it so I can get it down to 1.1. So I do everything um, remotely as far as you power it up and tuning uh, fine tuning but to do a standard tune I just hit the tune bunny bam I'm there um, anyways I love this radio and I think a lot of you will love it once you figure it out and and I was kind of scared purchasing it because I never had an SDR radio but I didn't have a lot of radios but I have a lot of experience working in software and hardware and I know I'm very comfortable working from the computer. Uh, the Flex uh, 6400 works great remotely. Uh, everything's on the LAN, and you got a good internet connection, wireless. You, you, it's everything you can do. I mean, I can do everything remotely that I can do from home. Uh, anyways, this is Randy. I want to just first do a demo, uh, demonstration of what I got here, the Flex 6400. It's a great radio, and the Flex team are great people to work with. They, they're good at communicating. Um, I'm just astounded by the quality of the sound, quality of the situational awareness it gives you on the waterfall. You know every conversation going out there, and it's easy to just get right to it. So, anyways, um, 73s, this is the first of many. Uh, have a great day.